Hello again everyone, Edwin Lawyer back with us again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Taurus September 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as September goes, the sun will be in Virgo from the 1st until the 23rd. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on romance, uh, children, uh, love, fun, amusement, enjoyment, uh, gambling, even in some cases, speculation, investments, personal popularity. And given that this is Virgo energy, this may be done in a very systematic, methodical manner with a lot of hard work, a lot of industry, a lot of acute attention to detail. Uh, as well and a lot of pensive energy it's going to be a lot of thought this is going to be uh, likely a lot of thought it could also be done uh, with a lot of diligence and also with punctuality but um some case i mean keep in mind this could also in some cases shine the light uh so to speak on perhaps a Virgo uh, romantic um, lover it could be a Virgo sun moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies Virgo characteristics or even shine the light on overly critical, judgmental, um, even pedantic. Uh, could be a child, it could be a lover, but there can be very strong focus and, and uh, attention, especially if you're like a like a fantasy football fan and I mean, uh, maybe you perhaps extrapolating uh, sports data at this time. This could be in a very perhaps enjoyable period for that and a lot of focus and concentration of energy, uh, perhaps on analytical, intellectual amusement and enjoyment. So anyway, next thing up. Well, as far as September goes, the sun will be in Libra from the 23rd until the 30th. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong uh, focus, concentration of energy and attention on employment in aunt and uncle, even uh, service rendered uh, pets in some cases. Um, the daily routine, uh, sometimes it could even be worry. Uh, also, um, your um, your health, your diet, uh, fitness, uh, hygiene. And at this time, given that this is Libra energy, this may be done with a lot of uh, balance, uh, even distribution. Uh, perhaps also done with uh, really, um, really just a lot of fairness and a lot of, uh, and, and really uh, given, again, Libra energy, it is very uh, balanced, a lot of equilibrium, but also in the dealings with uh, an aunt and uncle, people at your place of employment, a lot of tact and diplomacy, and there will be roof, and it's very refined energy uh, as well. And given to, I mean, this could also in some cases shine the light, so to speak, on a Libra health related matter, such as something with the kidneys or the lower back. And uh, some cases too, remember that the Sun rules the left or the right eye, depending on gender. So in some cases, this could also be uh, an eye issue. There could be a lack. Uh, maybe you just generally, I mean, you're talking about Libra is about uh, balance. And um, you might have one that just is simply one is a little bit better uh, than the other one. And it's just um, those are some things to look at uh, as far as uh, this goes. Uh, as well and also there could be a lot of focus concentration of energy and attention on perhaps uh, reconciliation negotiation and compromise with six house people uh, as well so anyway well the next thing up uh, there will be a full moon in Pisces on September 13th so the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted so at this time well in some cases, uh, this could be like the unveiling or revelation of a friend or acquaintance that was rather uh, duplicitous or deceptive and maybe some betrayal in connection with this person. Now, uh, this could also be about the culmination or completion of a Pisces uh, aspiration or goal. It could be something connected to something Pisces related, of course, such as something with uh, photography, um, something with chemistry, uh, the metaphysical, uh, which includes uh, astrology, oceanography, uh, anything Pisces related, such as something with illusion, uh, pharmaceutical, maybe be trying to become uh, a pharmacist, anything that could be Pisces related to drug or alcohol uh, addiction counselor. Now, 
could also be about the end perhaps of maybe at this time too uh, maybe a Pisces friendship may come to an end in some isolated cases it could be or an acquaintance it could be a Pisces Sun Moon or ascended person or simply one that embodies uh, Pisces characteristics now also too uh, when you're looking at full moons in astrology, it could be about a time when one becomes tired, exasperated, or full of something. This could be a time where one simply becomes tired, exasperated, or full at an overly, uh, perhaps deceptive, duplicitous, um, even uh, maybe delusional, uh, overly impressional, overly passive, even uh, perhaps a friend, an acquaintance, or even a or one that might be very gullible as well. Uh, that could be. Um, it could be a friend, it could be an acquaintance, it could be something, uh, someone you know that, that at a group club or organization or even a stepchild uh, in some cases. Now, another, uh, another thing too, another way this may manifest, this could also be in some cases about uh, perhaps that at this time you're talking about this energy where you might, uh, it could be the time where you might maybe had enough of some kind of um, maybe a group which really um, wasn't projecting themselves as what they uh, really were because remember again Pisces could be very uh, deceptive uh, energy and it's something too where uh, where it could be where you end uh, something in that group club or organization or it could be something or it could be a Pisces group club or organization that you might find where you might uh, complete it at this point uh, in time so and also too, maybe just tired, being tired, full or exasperated, maybe at being overly nebulous or overly confused regarding your future at this time. And maybe it's a time where you just finally decide to do something about it. And anyway, next thing up, there will be a new moon in Libra on September 28th. So the six houses will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, in some cases, this could be about the beginning of some Libra uh, type of employment. It could be something connected uh, with some legal work, such as uh, working as an attorney, a lawyer, a paralegal, a bailiff, or anything else Libra related, such as something with art or working in some as an arbitrator or some negotiator, uh, doing and something that a uh, marriage counselor, anything that could be Libra uh, related. And uh, really uh, to this could also be in some cases uh, the start in isolated cases of perhaps maybe some Libra uh, physical issue. You're talking about the sixth house of health and especially say this is making an in conjunct to the ascendant from the six or even if it's making an adverse aspect to your natal uh, sun at this time. It could be uh, something Libra related such as something with the kidneys or uh, the lower back. Uh, as well, um, some other uh, ways, uh, maybe, well, one other way this may manifest could also be the beginning, uh, again, perhaps maybe a finding uh, that balance and equilibrium and fairness in one's uh, daily uh, routine and finding that peace, tranquility, and harmony in that as well, perhaps in one's uh, place of employment or their work life. So anyway, and, and, and maybe even balance service to others. So anyway next thing up well mercury will be in virgo as far as september goes from the first until the 14th so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlight now this could be a time where you might be thinking really uh the, the mind might be dedicated to perhaps extrapolating some data connected with something of enjoyment such as sports if you're into fantasy football for example this could be that ap appropriate time uh for this but you could also be about uh, some cases very critical judgmental uh, communications with lovers with children at this time but also the mind could be very analytical as far as perhaps speculation or things of an investment uh, nature at this time and maybe thinking systematically and methodically how you're going to improve your personal popularity now as i've stated in previous videos mercury can also be about siblings this could be about virgo sun moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody virgo characteristics that um could figure more prominently in one's personal popularity love uh, uh maybe helping um 
Taurus find some kind of romantic partner matters with children uh, it could be a fun amusement and enjoyment uh, at this time as well so anyway well, next thing up, Mercury will be in Libra as far as September goes from the 14th until the 30th. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, this could be a time where you might be contemplating perhaps having a balanced diet and also finding that balance in your uh, daily routine as well. And also communicating with a lot of persuasion uh, with people at your place of employment, your daily routine, your work life at this time and even an aunt or an uncle and striving for diplomatic and tactful communications with those people perhaps and as i've stated before mercury can also be about siblings this could be about libra sun moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody libra characteristics that might figure more prominent in your daily routine your work life your place of employment perhaps service rendered it could be just doing uh, simple errands and also this could be about the communication perhaps of some libra like health related issues such as something um, with the lower back or the kidneys at this time and, and also to be careful this can also be about uh breathing uh issues at this time as mercury can be uh connected uh with that so and especially i mean if this is a at a point where it's making uh, an ink say an in conjunct to your uh, ascendant or even an adverse aspect uh, to your uh, natal sun and obviously Libra is about balance so it's like obviously you know breathing there might be maybe there's something with one um, you might feel it could in some cases be where there's one nostril nostril that maybe it's a little or you know it's maybe not um, getting in the air so to speak maybe as much as the other one there might have maybe there, there's more blockage in one i'm just throwing this kind of out there because again libra can be about balance and it might be attributed to some lack of balance and connection uh with the breathing so anyway well um Last but not least, Venus will be in Virgo as far as September goes from the 1st until the 14th. So the 5th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, if you're unattached at this time, Taurus, you may connect with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Virgo characteristics. And it could be somebody uh, where you might get involved in a very loving, romantic relationship, but it could also be a superficial uh, connection uh, as well. But at the same time this could be about the enjoyment of perhaps a uh something uh virgo related and uh it could be or just simply valuing something virgo related that you truly enjoy such as something with fitness diet exercise or organization in general but it could also be about enjoying something virgo uh related as well you're talking about venus can be connected with our fun enjoyment and being in the fifth house and maybe you enjoy this with children perhaps a romantic partner it could be something such as again extrapolating data doing playing some kind of game that requires a lot of cerebral energy even analysis such as chess even checkers i would say um mastermind playing tetris anything or some kind of online uh brain teaser game anything that could be uh virgo uh related and also too this could be about a time where you might be spending very uh, on really very frugal investments and things of a speculative uh nature as well it could be about even spending money on perhaps frug uh, spending very frugally perhaps on something sports related such as sports gambling of course where it's legal is what i um what, I, what i'm saying and oh and in, in that you're doing in that doing it legally of course so anyway people that will conclude this youtube astrological segment for my Taurus September 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two stay tuned next time I'll be giving my Taurus September 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well